Dewey the library cat. <laughs> a thousand mile table of land in the middle of the United States, northwest Iowa, downtown Spencer, small town America, small gray building. January 1988, bitterly cold Monday, needed my coffee, heard a noise in the drop box, low rumble, blast of freezing air, jammed book wedging it open, cold, frozen, saw the kitten, huddled, head down, legs tucked, looked up at me, lifted the kitten, hands nearly swallowed it, weak, shaking, snuggled, head against my heart, warm bath, water turned grayer, shivering turned to soft purring, meowing quietly, dried with the blow dryer, a beautiful, long-haired, orange tabby, could barely stand, pads on paws, frostbitten, slowly looked up into each face, rubbed his tiny head against her hand and purred, trusting, melted into each person's arms, loved. No problem falling asleep in public places, preferred laps, but if they weren't available, he would curl up in a box cram all four feet inside and let his sides ooze over the edge like a muffin. <laughs> Loved drawers and popping out of them when you least expected. Antics always drew a crowd. People came to the library to see him. He made himself available at the front door. The smiles, the children, the mothers smiling too. Story hour became so calm. Physically disabled, Dewey didn't care. Rubbed their legs, jumped in their laps. <laughs> Crystal squealed. First sound I ever heard her make. Crystal glowed. Eyes always blank. Now we're on fire. Crystal was alive. Happiness exploded. Best smile in the world. He was with somebody he loved. Whole town laughing. Club members were used to the Dewey treatment. Jumping into the center of the table at the beginning of every meeting, he would survey the participants, walk around to each person, sniffing, looking, chose one lap, never rushed. <laughs> Featured in all the cat magazines, documentary about library cats, puss in books, <laughs> requests for interviews, a star, Dewey delivered. Job description, reducing stress, sitting to greet the public, sampling boxes for security and comfort, attending meetings as official ambassador, providing comic relief, climbing in briefcases to retrieve needed papers, generating free publicity, and being cute. <laughs> Seemingly ordinary, he was extraordinary. Dewey came from humble beginnings. He found his place, never gave up, didn't do one heroic thing. He did something heroic every day, changing lives one lap at a time. <laughs> <laughs>